Hi everyone and uh, this is Hina Beg and I am a solution therapist. I'll be talking about again anxiety and this is about the symptoms and the reasons. I have noted it down as mentioned yesterday. So here it is. Uh, the symptoms can be like you feel tired, you are having that fatigueness, you are weak, you have a high palpitation, your heartbeat you know, is uh, fast. You are overthinking, breathlessness, sweating, shaking, stammering. Your head spins. You are overwhelmed by the situation. You don't know as to what is happening to you. So you feel suffocated, suffocated or claustrophobic. It could be one of them. Then it's like you have your alert system increased. As in like, uh, you know, a, a single thing that happens outside your own environment. You are susceptible to absorb that immediately. You don't know what to do as in the action part because the symptoms you're feeling, you have that cut feeling inside you that I am going to have this anxiety episode right now. You are aware about it because as I mentioned yesterday in my, um, in my session about anxiety, a brief view, if you have not listened, please do listen because I had told you that this is the fourth step the fourth level you have crossed certain levels to reach this stage right so understand your own self because that is very important everyone is different and unique and their response is different their symptoms may be different and we may have a confused or overlapping symptoms that we are experiencing that is what anxiety is all about you cannot pinpoint into one thing so it's like, you know, you have a lot of things happening simultaneously inside yourself. And here you are right now handling too much at your end. So this is not, you know, needed. These are some of the symptoms. It, there could be many more like, you know, shaking of legs. You start walking a lot. You, uh, your mouth feels dry and uh, you are like exhausted. That is why also uh, there is a lack of energy and uh, you just can't lift yourself up from even the bed. You just want to lie down and pass time. That is what symptoms are all about and symptoms are like an indication to yourself that yes, now is the time to do something about it. You cannot just let yourself into that state. It's not helping you anyways. So why should you? wherein you have so much else to do. You have your own dreams, your aspirations to work on, right? So this, these are the symptoms. If you have your own unique uh, symptom, please do mention in the comment box because others may then just read that comment and may identify as one of theirs. That is the reason why more people should, you know, share their own experience. Coming to the reasons part, yesterday I said I'll be talking about a little, you know, the reason. I have categorized them into groups. So the first group is education, next is relationship, next is friends or close cousins, then the career and the job. So these are the four spheres like you may have other spheres wherein your anxiety may lie. But let's see what is education all about that, uh, you know, the topic. So in education, it's like the exam assignment, extracurricular activities that's happening in school. You may not be so outward, extrovert type. So it's like you're not taking part in a lot of activities. There is a social anxiety inside yourself. Um, let's say I'll talk about the types briefly because again, Types are overlapping, they are very, um, very unique in their own way. You need to then go and consult any person, a professional to get yourself identified. So that is the reason why you need to find out. Hi Mohsen. Uh, so here it is. Keep the tune there. So here it is like in uh, teacher's attention, your own dreams. Now the teacher's attention is like... Um, in school, wherein I'm talking about education part, the anxiety could be that a particular teacher, you are, you're scared with that particular subject. So for that reason, you are scared with the teacher also. 
no and uh, there is this anxiety as soon as that period comes you start feeling nervous or you are not uh, very happy about that and you would like to miss your school for the same reason so for the parents to identify why the child is missing it could be one of the reason that they are anxious for a particular subject so everything is too much uh, you know interconnected and it's not possible to address each part in detail on you know on live like if you have your concerns then please take an appointment or consult a school counselor if it's about education when coming to extracurricular activity see it could be inside your um, school premises when you graduate it could be at that level when you are even if you are interested if you have a hobby for that level it's fine but if you want to take part in some you know competition or you want to just show your talent and you have that feeling you want to do it but you hold on to yourself due to anxiety then it is you need to understand as to how to jump that you know block of anxiety so this is these are the reasons these are just indications about that okay yes i'm having anxiety if it's hampering your um position to attain knowledge vis-a-vis -vis education right then it's the exam i have uh, given the example yesterday to go you know for the exam you have that anxiety you are unable to focus at times people also get panicked and that is the next level of these four levels that's like you know then uh, the more aggravated part of anxiety so then it's like you will forget everything and all that will happen coming to relationship again it is like the relationships when as a child when we see for our parents their parents family friends and even when uh, we talk about your relationship with something which is not alive like you know the th things or your memory or your expressions or your experience whatever it is when we talk about parents when we see parents and uh, we absorb what we watch so therefore we need to be mindful we may get anxious if our parents fight we may get anxiety you know inside that okay everyone if you have heard some children you know they get scared if uh, you know when they hear loud noise inside the house there are these constant uh, tiffs between husband and wife or in-laws and husband or in-laws and wife part so that is very very common also here it is because you need to know if you are feeling anxious that is not in your hand to control then the work goes for your own self how to deal with it or how to handle that so this is one of the reasons i'm talking only about the reason relationships when youngsters especially they engage them in them you know with the friendship which goes beyond and a commitment is there then it is fine if there is no commitment then please i have always taken the stand do not engage yourself in any relationship too intensely you know uh, that you are friends that is fine but if it goes beyond your friendship and you are uh, you know constantly uh, as a, as a watch you are experiencing for each self you are being answered you are being answerable all the time that is not you know in the long run it's not healthy because then you feel under pressure that is not required so whenever you're making friendship make a note of the fact that you don't go one step ahead and engage too much emotionally too much attached with another person if it's there is a commitment it's okay you are mutually agreeing upon something that is fine then at a young age it's always advisable to have good friends rather than just getting stuck up with some one person if it materializes well and good if you can manage again it's fine but usually it's seen that people do go a lot of roller coaster emotionally and if it's hampering your own utility and productivity part then it's not correct 
you have to take a decision you have to take a call for your own self that is for the relationship again with the cousins and friends it is if the friends are too demanding if the friends are too dependent and if you are likewise also as a friend with others then it will increase your anxiety because again expectation comes and you will start expecting either from somebody or you are as somebody is expecting you know in response from you to act in a particular way friendship again it's like you know it should be free it should be a place wherein you can say some things and even if you don't say something the other person understands you without too many words they understand and respect your own space that is what friendship is all about then coming to uh, the friends cousins okay dependency is there so you have to make a note of it the career or job how anxiety is going to play a role you have reached this level due to the habits of yours which you have you know silently or in subtle ways you have increased in your system as i mentioned yesterday again there are four levels this is the fourth level according to my observation and experience which i have till now i can say very confidently you have crossed the stage at some point or the other to reach this position so working now backwards starting from the procrastination part work on it try to do something every day i'm not i will not be talking about solutions today i it's only the symptoms which i have already mentioned and the reasons which i feel that could be um why you're feeling anxious so the deadline is there you have not completed your work you have stayed awake for late you know avoid okay i'm not talking about solution so it's the late night that you are working you are multitasking either you are doing something extra also to learn a skill so that may hamper your own work so the meeting the deadlines submitting any assignments again any ppt any presentation in the work scenario any targets to meet in the job um, position there could also be um, you know anxiety about uh, going for an interview that is very possible so you need to work upon it as to how you can overcome that anxiety as i had said you have to write down on paper i feel this anxiety because of something so you have to write down that keep on brainstorming yourself why you are feeling anxious it is important it the reason is unique for each one of us coming to career again in the office scenario in the work workplace scenario there could be somebody who is very smart who knows all the shortcuts who knows how to please the boss uh, you know those people who are uh, boss pleasing types and you are not one of them so it's like you are cribbing and you are doing more work because you were not able to say no also people are dumping work on you all those could be the reasons why eventually you feel anxious as the workload now has increased it could also be that you want to say something and you are unable to say that those things to your boss or to your colleague that can lead to an anxiety thing there could be also a job scenario meeting or let's say get together you feel a little about your own self you you know not value your own self so it's like you're very apprehensive to go to that place that could leave you anxious oh there is this major meeting and i have to go and present something that could also be a reason for you to feel anxious it can also be that you are given some work and you are not so skilled at it but then you have to you know hold on to your own position and not and you're not in a position to say no or reject that uh, whatever work is given to you you have to do it and inside you you know that that skill is not you're not an expert on that skill part so that could also be a reason which can lead to you in ending up being anxious that uh, so if you calculate if you listen to all the reasons maybe you have somewhere in this list please find out and see how it can be now coming to the types part briefly i would say that it's like you know generalized anxiety disorder 
that is there and uh, it's all because of the collection of your own worries, concerns, uh, uh, let's say overthinking about something, so that is possible. Coming to all that part, leading yourself into that, you know, um, heightened anxiety position, that is possible. Again, social anxiety, it's very common, people are scared to go and mix in public. It's again a very, um, very important aspect as we all are social beings. So if you have that anxiety, you need to address appropriately. Try out different things. If you have listened to anyone, if you have read any article wherein the solution is given, did you practice it in your own real life? I have also spoken about it. If you've not listened to it, there is some video I have put up. It was a live session telling as to how you can deal with your social anxiety. I'll go through it again briefly tomorrow uh, when I'm, I'll be talking about the solution part. Coming to phobias, there is a separation or attachment anxiety also. When people leave their close one or they're away, like if you have seen a child, the moment their mom is not there, the child just freaks out. You know? So it's like heightened emotion again. Anxiety is an emotion, a very increased level will be like, you know, you are uh, treading on a freaking out part, like it is so increased, it's no more like a person is crying. They become hysterical also. They just throw tantrums like anything. So that is an, an unexplained as to why, okay, the mother comes also, but it takes time for that child to settle down. It can happen. And so it's like when we grow up, we know we may not throw tantrums the way a child can throw. We have a different way of um, dealing or showing our own anxiety. Everything is unique again for each one, how they respond to a particular situation. It's different. Coming to the medic medication induced anxiety disorder, again, it's like any medicine has reacted to you and you may feel anxious there is a breathlessness or you may feel like suffocated so those are the allergic reaction or a reaction of a particular medicine please find out about how you are you know dealing with yourself with each and everything are you scared about something sit down and write yes i am scared what it is then goes your next point Last time when you focus or faced that situation, how was it for you? What level was it? How frequency? So all these small data for your own self will help you in your own coping mechanism. When you are, you know, making a bag or a Pandora box of coping skills, exactly then you will know that, okay, if I try this thing out for myself, I will feel better. So these were the some symptoms and the reasons which I feel that you can look into, listen, speculate, see if it relates to your own condition. Because as a therapist, I have seen that people do get anxious, but um, they all are very brilliant people and I really admire the youth a lot. They are wonderful. You all have the caliber to do am amazing things in life. So take care of yourself, be fit, see you tomorrow, bye.